All right, the plan is to take the little camper van out on a proper overnight shakedown session. Just you and me, that's it. What could possibly go wrong? Okay, where are my keys? Let's do this. Here's the status. We found a sweet little trailhead that has a lot of uh, trail options. So we're gonna stage up out of here. Couple upgrades to the van. I made some window covers out of old bubble wrap packaging. These are just like shipping packages. I think I'll enclose these in fabric so that you can't see the metallic on the outside. Cause when you look in this space, you just, you know, you're like, oh, that's somebody's fort. For sure, that's a fort. Brought the buddy heater again and the lifesaver, the carbon monoxide tester. So if I feel like experimenting with my life, I can do it this time. And what else? Oh, oh, my favorite part. I got extenders for the Helix One Cot. And what an awesome upgrade because now I'm still able to sit upright, but I can actually store stuff under here. And the other thing that this does is it makes using the sink so much easier. So this test will be a full dispersed camp out, no support whatsoever. So we'll see how it goes. All right, but first we gotta go for a hike. A real good, a magical hike. Oh, there is one more thing I upgraded. I got some seat covers, cause I'm pretty dirty and we're always in the mud and such. So I got these Cryptex camo black seat covers. So they kind of look like camo, but they kind of don't, which is nice. They're in disguise. And then also to go full nerdery, they're tactical. So there's Molly straps all over the back. So I got all these little pouches and things on them to store stuff. For this scenario, having all this storage on the back of the chairs, it just seems like a no brainer. My little home, that's oh, working. Oh, and the other thing I did, I added that. For official use only, everything's been done. Field deployment unit, decline research facility. It's officially official. It's still pretty plain though, which it's a double-edged sword because it's covert, but it's boring. So what do you do? Oh, and I should note, I set some parameters for myself with this video. <clears throat> one camera, one battery. Why are you holding up two? See if I can squeeze a story out of those two elements. Better stop burning precious. <laughs> It's a three-pointed mountain flower that I know not much about, except its name, and I can identify it. In fact, it's the only flower I can identify in the wild. Oh, once upon a time, there was a train that ran through these woods. Where it came from, nobody knows. Where it ended up, even fewer people knew. This is hilarious. It just says, Step Creek Trail, 3.5 miles. If you have any questions. Yeah, I have a question. Which fucking direction is the trail? Holy Merc, what a genius! Yeah, I just needed to show you how all of the trees here are so sophisticated. They all wear sweaters. They all like listening to Spoon. Crocheting is a hobby that they have. They all have cats named Alfred. <laughs> This is amazing. <laughs> the funny thing about the camper van is it's this fine line between slumming it and dirt bagging it. Where do you poop in a fort? What do you do with your dishes in your fort? How many dragons are allowed in the fort at one time? These are the things that I'm wondering. Oh, you again. Was it lightning? Like what the hell made this happen? Now it's actually raining and it would be nice to not be in the rain. Wouldn't you agree? What do you want to stay in the rain? What are you crazy? Okay, now it looks kind of cool. Sometimes I think it looks so stupid. See, <laughs> when I'm this far away, it looks good. Wow, sitting down, who knew? Look, humans. Uh, move along, nothing to see here. Oh my God, 
I made it. I'm so dirty and wet. There's basically only one position I can be in this thing. <laughs> it's sitting down. Oh, there's two. Or lying down, and then that's it. You get two two choices. I'm so filthy though. But hey, look, dolmas. Such a reality of living in the Pacific Northwest. Everything's soaking wet. And my damn van is so small, I can't stand up any anymore. So I have to change outside in the pouring rain. This is basically like your closet. It's like a crawling closet. What am I doing? Can I get a little help? A little help. Anybody? Can anybody hear me? Okay, learning a couple things. Where the hell do you put your wet everything? And then also, I should have brought inside shoes. I, I thought about it, but I figured, no, no, less is more. I gotta stop thinking like that because it keeps getting in the way. But I did bring a real pillow this time. Thank God for that, huh? Who's gonna have a little bit less nightmares tonight, huh? This guy. Yeah, that's right, buddy. Oh yeah, we're washing our hands. No battery needed. I just took like a mini shower in the sink. It was awesome. It is pouring outside and I'm so stoked to be inside a thing and not in a tent with the water seeping in all around. <laughs> We're living the good life in here. And this is where the don't kill me alarm goes. It's just like a real house in here. Dinner time. Ellie made us a homemade sourdough, smoked salmon, avocado, arugula, a little bit of miso, mustard, and I think that's it. Maybe there's the onions too. And it's fucking delicious. I had some earlier. I can't wait to just, we're gonna chase it down with some booch and some beer. I'm so excited to eat this right now. Oh my God, oh my God. Living that good life. You know, it doesn't take much, really. Although this is kind of much. Uh, honestly, anyone who says it doesn't take much, it takes a lot to make it seem like it's not a lot. Is this making any sense? Maybe this kombucha will talk some sense into me. I could use a, like a broom or a welcome mat or something. I don't know how to deal with that. You, you can't not have your shoes in this thing, so like no shoes in the house. That doesn't work here. It just, it's, it needs, the flooring needs to change. And the other thing is like, I gotta get a little wedge for this. This is three-legged pony over here. Does it matter that I forgot the second eye in official? Maybe it's kind of funny because it's, you know, that's how official it is. It's so, hey, you don't spell official with two eyes. You, what? Very proud of my outfit today. Camper clothes on point. Full Teletubby base. Shell, which is wet as fuck from earlier. Camper pants, which I goddamn love these things. Note to self, get rid of these city flags. Look at that city boy over there. Good Lord, it's like an interrogation room in here. I never knowed this until this moment. This thing in there turns orange when it boils, which is kind of cool. And I timed it. It takes around three minutes for this thing to boil. I do a little light leak test. Not bad at all. The worst is the front windshield cover. And I may need a fan. It's getting pretty damp in there. But I'm just saying, it's looking pretty cozy in here. Good morning. We made it through the night. And this night's sleep was a little bit better than last time because of this little memory foam jammer we got underneath here. Time for some low protein gruel and green tea. This place is crazy. What a solid, perfect little bug out experience for the camper van. Out here in the Tillamook State Forest, Rears Camp. Hey, do you guys see that I painted the hubcaps? There's a video on my Instagram. It's bedliner. Oh, first shakedown ride, I'm pretty happy with it. Hey, memory foam for the win. Elevated cot, pro move. The fridge works great. The water, interesting fact about the water. I almost used one whole gallon over one night. So I think I got to upgrade the size. And I don't think the foot pedal is the way to go. I think the little hand pump is actually like a smarter move. And now it's raining again. Beautiful, never ending rain. Good Lord. How like you. If there's anything you like here, go ahead, hit the like button. If you haven't subscribed, now might be the time. And check out the EBD Gear Shop, the greatest place on the internet. Now let's see how the rest of this adventure is gonna turn out. Cause I don't, God, will you look at this, so the rugged beauty of it all.